Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm gonna be trying to recreate some secret menu items from Taco Bell. So a secret menu food is an item that a restaurant makes or used to make that isn't on their menu. I personally love Taco Bell, so I'm gonna try to recreate some of their most infamous secret menu items. First up, we'll be making the waffle taco, and then the legendary and elusive Enchirito. But first, let's see if we can actually get these. All right, I'm here at the Taco Bell drive-thru. Hi, how are you? Hi, um, can I get two waffle tacos? Oh, uh, we don't have that. You don't have that? No. You aren't keeping a secret? Waffle taco? A waffle taco. So then can I instead get two Enchiritos? We don't have Enchiritos. <laughs> Wait, are you sure? Yeah, it's been like a while. We don't have it. How long? Yeah, like two years now. Two years late? <laughs> I'm late. So the waffle taco was impossible to get, but don't worry, I've got that recipe covered. And as for the Enchirito, I think I've got something pretty close. Let's check it out. All right, we've got the goods. <laughs> oh yes, we've got two beef and bean burritos. Beautiful, <laughs> just as I remembered. I actually don't have many memories of Taco Bell because I feel like the only time I go to Taco Bell is when I'm really drunk. I'm going to smother it in this red sauce. Interesting that they gave me melted cheese with this. I can to be melted cheese on top. That is art. It's got a good bite here in the middle. Some of that sauce. Tastes like Taco Bell. <laughs> you know, it is good, but it's not nearly as good as the real deal Enchirito, and I know I can do better. So let's get cooking. So to kick things off, we've got the waffle taco. Now, this was a very short-lived secret menu item at Taco Bell. In fact, you could only get it for a year. I like waffles and I like tacos, but do they belong together? I'm optimistic. So first up, I've got a thawed frozen waffle and I'm gonna pop it in some hot oil for a quick fry. So I'm just frying this waffle up for about 30 seconds each side, just so it's a little bit golden brown, but still pliable. She's perfect. So now I'm gonna drain off some of that excess oil and then pop it right on our taco shaper. <laughs> and I'm just gonna form this into a nice little taco shape. Next one. So legend has it, the way the waffle taco was born was that a Taco Bell worker fried up a frozen waffle and then put it in the chalupa holder. Was it magic or was it a curse? <laughs> Next guy goes in our little makeshift chalupa holder. Our waffle taco shape is done. Moving on to our sausage patty. So I'm just gonna form our sausage into about the same size as our waffle taco shell. Okay, that looks like it's about right. Popping it in to fry. If you're a lover of breakfast food, this is a fun new take on like a breakfast sandwich. If you're sick of the classic biscuit or muffin. Waffle taco, we're gonna make a waffle taco. So these sausages are looking nice and brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of cut this sausage patty down the middle so that I'm able to place it nicely into our waffle taco shell. This is same boat as McGriddle for sure, but it's just an outlier for the Taco Bell menu. I don't know if all these fast food chains have some sort of like connection, like maybe they are like at the top, kind of like switching foods. There's some sort of fast food Illuminati going on up at the top, I don't know. Are they in cahoots? You don't know. So for the last component of our waffle taco, we've got some scrambled eggs. Cheesy scrambled eggs. I'm gonna just scramble up some eggs, pour them into a pan with some butter. Gonna season with a little salt. I didn't even know Taco Bell had eggs. Like where do they get the egg? Do, do they just go to the grocery store? So now I'm gonna top our scrambled eggs with some cheddar cheese, and then put a little lid on this to get it all nice and melty. Eggs are looking good. Now I'm just gonna yeah, just pop these right on top. And for the final touch, I'm gonna drizzle these guys in a little good old maple syrup. The moment of truth. Let's see how this waffle taco really is. I have a fork and knife here, but I'm gonna eat it like I would any taco with the hands. <laughs> it's delicious. It's every classic breakfast food that you love formed into a taco shape. I appreciate that it's pretty easy to eat, 
if it happened to make another appearance on the Taco Bell menu, I wouldn't be mad at it. But that's up to the Taco Bell gods. <laughs> but in the meantime, you can make it yourself at home and it's pretty easy and pretty delicious. All right, breakfast is out of the way and now it's time to make the main event. The whole enchilada, if you will. The Enchirito. All right, to kick things off with the Taco Bell Enchirito, we're gonna start by making the classic red sauce. So to start, I'm going to bloom our spices. We've got some paprika, some chili powder, some garlic powder, some cumin, onion powder, and cayenne. I should add that this is just my interpretation of the Taco Bell red sauce. The real recipe is also a secret, but I think I can give them a run for their money. So I'm just blooming these spices in a little bit of oil until they're nice and fragrant. I feel like the sauces at Taco Bell are one of their most popular items, and they're not even a real menu item. All right, to the spices, I'm adding some tomato sauce. Ooh, we're looking saucy already. All right, now I'm gonna add in some white vinegar some salt, and some water. Now I'm gonna bring this to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, cover it, and then let it cook until it's a little bit thicker, and then we've got our red sauce. Moving on to our refried beans. People really enjoy them. Actually, my best friend loves the beans so much, she thinks they're the best beans on earth. I don't know if I'd go that far, but... <laughs> <laughs> but they are pretty good. Fun fact, the Taco Bell refried beans are actually vegan, when normal refried beans are usually made with lard. So first I've got some olive oil in my pan, I'm adding in some onions and some garlic. Next I have some cumin and chili powder. We've got our bowl of beans going in, a bay leaf and some salt. Now I'm gonna add some water and we're gonna simmer this for about 15 minutes. All right, our beans are looking real good. Mmm, they smell really good too. Nice and spicy. So I'm gonna take the bay leaf out, and then using a potato masher, I'm just gonna start mashing these guys up. You know, fast food gets a bad rep, but I think it's one thing that really unites us as a world. You can find a Taco Bell anywhere. You can find a McDonald's anywhere. It's the universal thing. It's like our own version of a watering hole. Like the animals go converge over the watering hole. We are the animals converging in the drive-thru line. Wow, the beans are looking real good. Now I'm gonna add in some lime juice. Give this another last little stir. Here we go, uh, we're in business, baby. I'm gonna open up my own Taco Bell, Alex Bell. <laughs> All right, the beans are good. We are ready to move on. Listen, I got a little beef with Taco Bell. Just kidding, it's beef time. Okay, so I have a little oil in the pan. I'm adding in my ground beef. Gonna start breaking this down and browning it up. Break it down, brown it up. Break it down, brown it up. Break it down, brown it up. I'm gonna season this beef with a little salt, chili powder, paprika, cayenne, coriander, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder. Just stir this up and get it all nice and coated in those spices. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle on some flour and our beef stock. Whoop, right in there. So now I'm just gonna cook this up for about five to seven minutes until most of the water has reduced and it's thickened up. So this part might seem a little bit weird, because it is, but in order to get this classic Taco Bell thinned out beef texture, I am going to pulverize our beef with an immersion blender. This is kind of like a hot pot of beef and there could be a little bit of a splash zone, so just be careful. Putting it in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is so weird. I wonder if they do this in Taco Bell. Oh, there, that is the good stuff. That's the sound. I think we're pretty good. <laughs> Gonna use this for a smoothie later. <laughs> but really, that looks like more like Taco Bell beef. That was an important step. Beautiful. If you don't have an immersion blender, you could always pulse it in a food processor or just really, really mash it up with your fork. Time to assemble this thing. We've got all of our components. So we're gonna start with a layer of beans. I'm going to try not to overfill my enchirito, which I usually tend to do when I make any sort of burrito at home. Next, our layer of onions, the almost unrecognizable pulverized ground beef. Now I'm gonna roll this baby up. When you fold a burrito, you'll just go in on the sides and then you gotta really just commit to it. All right, and I'm putting it seam side down in our pan. And I'm just gonna repeat the process. 
There we go, last one in. Wow, look at that. So I'm gonna smother these in our delicious red sauce. Oh yeah, look at that. All nice and saucy. And finally, our cheddar cheese, right on top. Cheese bay. All right, so now I'm gonna bake this at 375 for about five minutes until that cheese is nice and melty, and then we'll try this thing and see if our enchorito is a go or a no. Da da da! Not as fast as the Taco Bell drive through I should add, but just as delicious. Maybe more. Let's take one of these <laughs> babies out of here. It's pretty big. Woo, let's cut it open. Oh yeah. Gonna get a little piece with some sauce on it. All right, here goes nothing. It's really good. Definitely a lot like the one we tried early on today, but I would say a little more sophisticated. We've got some deeper flavors there and everything just kind of comes together nicely. We've got some size here. We've got a lot of depth of flavor. The cat's out of the bag. The Enchirito is a secret no more. If you're feeling saucy, I recommend you make this one. And if you do, be sure to tag me. I'd love to see your work. And also comment down below and let me know what other secret menu items you want me to make. All right, see you next time. And throw in a Crunchwrap Supreme. <laughs> we don't sell Crunchwraps anymore either. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yes.